pair a Fire TV remote with your Echo Show 15. The Alexa Voice Remote, third generation, can navigate and control the apps and services in the Fire TV experience on your Echo Show 15. To pair the remote to your Echo Show 15, use Echo Show settings. On your Echo Show 15, swipe down from the top edge of the screen and select Settings, or say Open Settings. Open Get Started with a Fire TV Remote and then select Pair a Remote. On the Alexa Voice Remote, press and hold the Home button for 10 seconds. The Fire TV Remote screen tells you when the remote is discovered. When your remote appears in the list, select it to complete pairing. The Echo Show 15 makes prepping for dinner or doing the dishes a bit more enjoyable now that you can access the Fire TV experience directly on your device. With a Fire TV widget on your home screen, you can quickly access your recently viewed apps, watched content, and your personal watch list. And you can also kindly ask Alexa to open Fire TV. Or if you don't want someone to know that you're watching the season finale without them, just tap the icon right here. Once the Fire TV experience is open, you can use touch or a compatible remote control to launch apps, view show details, or watch live TV. Tap Find, then Search, and search by actor, genre, or app, or go straight to the App Store to discover new streaming apps like Disney+, Plus, Pluto TV, Paramount+, Plus, and more. If you already know the show you want to watch, just use your favorite voice assistant. Alexa, play the Rings of Power. I just love that shit. I'll also never have to miss a game while chopping onions, since I could just ask Alexa to open my favorite apps. Alexa, open ESPN. Some apps offer limited touchscreen capabilities and will require either a compatible remote or a virtual on-screen remote. By pairing the compatible Alexa voice remote with your Echo Show 15, you can control the full Fire TV experience from anywhere in the room. Pair your remote by going to Settings on your device. Each remote can only be paired with one device at a time, the perfect opportunity for you to use that label maker you borrowed from your neighbor five years ago. If you don't have a physical remote, your virtual remote will appear automatically and is designed to be your remote on screen. Tap to control and navigate your content. Hold the cross arrow icon on the top left of the remote to move the remote anywhere on the screen. Use the round control pad to scroll and select content. Select the menu icon to access subtitle and language settings. To remove the virtual remote from your screen, just click the X at the top of the remote and it will disappear. And just like that, dinner's on the stove and you know your way around the Fire TV experience on the Echo Show 15. Enjoy cheering on your team, watching your favorite shows, and challenging the next chef to a cook-off. Wait, how did you do the wham? Two, three, and then... Meet Portal and Portal Plus from Facebook. A new way to connect that makes you feel like you're in the same room. Hey. Even when you're miles apart. Portal's smart camera follows the action, keeping you in frame as you move around the room. And smart sound focuses on your voice, minimizing the rest. No, it's good. That's what it's supposed to do. As more people join the conversation, Portal keeps everyone in view. And with Portal, you stay in control. Disable the camera and microphone with a single tap, or slip the cover over the camera lens. Connect with your closest contacts from Facebook and Messenger, one-on-one, -on -one, or in a group call, even if they don't have Portal. Portal lets you experience more together. Bring your stories to life, or listen to the same thing at the same time. When you're not in a call, Portal displays photos, videos, and reminds you of important events. And Portal has Amazon Alexa built in, so you can ask a question, check the weather, or set the mood. Alexa, dim the lights. Portal is a whole new way to spend more time with your favorite people. So even if you can't be there, you can feel there.
Say hi to your new audio and visual companion for your home, the JBL Link View. It brings the legendary JBL sound into your home. Combined with an 8-inch HD touchscreen that allows you to view pictures, stream YouTube videos, or just check out the weather. The feature I'm really excited to show you is the front-facing camera. It's perfect for calling family and friends through Google Duo. As all the JBL Link range, the JBL Link View has the Google Assistant, which really brings the HD display to life. All you have to say is, OK Google, and you instantly unlock any content you please. Cooking tutorials, match scores, playing your favorite music, all without lifting one finger. Watch this. OK Google, show me my holiday photos from summer 07. OK Google, show me how to make the perfect paella. OK Google, play my favorite cooking playlist. OK, Google, where's my nearest takeaway? Alexa, call Dad. Hey. Hi, baby. <laughs> Happy birthday, Happy birthday, baby girl. Hi, Grandpa. Did you get it? Did you get it? Believe me, you don't love it. Alexa, show me cupcake recipes from Food Network. 1.5 cups of graham crackers. Alexa, show me the front door. <laughs> Alexa, play Mrs. Maisel on Prime Video. You're weird to ask. A weird what? The thing I ask for in your contract. You kept pounding me when he asked for it. It's like twice. Make sure he brings his costume, okay? See you there. Give me a smile. <laughs> Toby, get down. Hey, Google, vacuum the kitchen. Hey, Google, play my dinner playlist. Hey, Internet people! This is Nest Hub, and this is Nest Hub Max. They both do a lot of things, but let's just focus on one thing. Home view. It's like a command center for your home. With one swipe down, you have access to all your Google Nest devices. But Google, why would I want to control everything from one place? Although none of you are wondering that, let's discuss anyways. Here's mom on her day off. All she wants is a little me time. Just her, her couch, and her terrarium. But something's missing. Ah, tunes! So mom opens home view, selects media, and chooses which speaker she wants playing. And voila! Ooh, see? That's nice, isn't it? Mom heads to the kitchen. Oh, and hey, let's meet her son. He's always leaving the lights on in his room. But with Nest Hub, she can adjust any light in the house. And since there's a hub right here, Mom can open Home View, select lights in her son's room, and turn them off. But wait, you know what else she can do? Turn the lights any color. Hmm. How about purple? Her son will love purple, right? Maybe? No? Anyway. Hey, sweetie, it's cold in my room. That's Grandma. She's always cold. Grandma knows that she can control the thermostat directly from her hub. She just forgets things sometimes. 
Swipe down to open home view, select thermostat, choose temperature, or if your fingers are too cold to work, you can just say, Hey Google, set temperature at 68 degrees. Let's get back to mom and her terrarium. Hold on, dad's back with the pizzas as mom can clearly see from the nest cam. And not a moment too soon. All this tutorialing is making everybody hungry. Oops, dad forgot to lock the front door. Not a problem. Mom can simply select locks from the home view screen. Crisis averted without leaving the couch. A happy parent with a home under control. Thanks in part to home view on your Google Nest Hub or your Google Nest Hub Max. That's all for now. See ya. Bye.